Right, back again, match day 646, Fleetwood at home. Line up today, Ice to the Seamway, Jones, Hector, Eden, Dobson, Anderson, both the Campbells, May and Blackett Taylor. So on paper it looks like a 4-3-3, I might be mistaken, 900% on that. Obviously, both massively out of form teams, both need a win. We're on a four loss streak, they're on a five, so it really is a battle of, battle of the shits really, or you could be less shit and get a win. Um, obviously, Pierce's first game, caretaking today. Uh, I'd like to see him get a result, obviously, because I'm a big fan of him in his Charlton career. He'd probably get into this defence, to be fair to him, so let's hope he sorted it out. Anyway, uh, catch you the game. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. Here we are, a couple of coddies with me. Introduce yourself, boys. Hi, uh, I'm Matt. I'm Stephen. Matt and Stephen. So, what do you reckon of today then? What, what are we saying? Uh, I think it's going to be a tough game. Um, I think, mean, obviously, both teams are probably not in the best of form they could be. Yeah. We've only got a point this season, you've only got three. Absolutely. Um, obviously, win, draw. Get on, mate! So, yeah, I don't know, it could go either way, could go either way. Um, yeah, obviously, you know, de decent team at home when you can play. Yeah. Our away form is probably slightly better than our home form, so yeah, could go either way. I, I, I would favour it towards you, but... That is. What do you happen. reckon, Chet? Yeah, I'd favour it towards you as well. I agree. Bad deal. I yeah. mean, it is two, two, about one of two out of form teams, isn't it, really? Yeah, it really, it really <laughs> is. And uh, do we've got a couple of ex-players at Charlton, obviously Stockley and Brendan yeah. Wurdger. What do you reckon of them today? Injured Are they good players? Injured. <laughs> hopefully. Injured. Stockley's starting. So, so Stockley yeah. is starting yeah, today. Hopefully, so hopefully we'll like. see a bit more of him, but... And, and yeah. how's he getting on for you lot? Right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he's, few, he's been injury prone. Scored a few decent goals Derby way last season. Um, yes. Obviously, injuries probably not helped him in weight, probably, uh, probably with the like, but yeah. And if, <laughs> if, a, if a neutral had to watch out for a Fleetwood player today, who would it be, do you reckon? What's that? If a neutral had to watch out for like a Fleetwood player, who's dangerous? Junior um, Quaterna. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but we've got a couple of new player. signings as well. Okay. Um, we got uh, Shimanga. Yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah. go Shimanga. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, he can well. deliver. Hopefully, he can deliver. So, Xavier Simmons. Wait and well. see. I just find a score prediction. What are we saying? 2 1 Charlton. Bloody hell. I got 2 0, mate. 3 0 Charlton. Charlton. Oh, I appreciate it. Charlton's enjoyed the game, right? Thank you. Yeah, no worries, yeah. What do you reckon today, boys? Uh, I reckon 2 1 Fleetwood. 2 1 Fleetwood. 2 0 Fleetwood. So, a bit more optimistic than the last two, then, eh? Yep. And uh, in terms of, like I said before, what about the players who we were looking at today? Danger men, Fleetwoods. Probably Junior. Junior's yeah. probably our best player at the minute. Yeah. I mean, our new signing. Only scored one goal all season, so. Yeah. Struggling for goals. Not not the greatest at the back. No, I'll neither are we. Yeah. Nine men last weekend, so our best keep. But Jay Lynch is out and Josh Earl, best centre back. Yeah. So, people okay. struggle at the back. If you don't put three past us, then. I'll be somewhat wrong. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm expecting goals today. In terms of the season, what do you reckon you'll play the rest of the season? Bottom half if we don't Nah, I, I reckon relegation. Fight all Gee. season. Fair, fair enough. Well, I mean. but maybe if the few new signings do something, but by all accounts, that Pete, the lad from Peterborough has not really done much. That, yeah, no. He's like, past past like, League One, he's not done anything. Non League, he's scored goals, but that means nothing, does it? Yeah, of course. I don't know which uh, transition does it. And uh, then you've got Stockley, but. It's not been, he was decent last season, but he's not been great, like, start. And That's then you got Marriott that was meant to, wanted to go at the end, like, wanted to go this transfer and just didn't sell him. But he managed to keep him though, didn't yeah. he, in the end? Wants to go back down south, so. Yeah, fair these lads, appreciate it. Thanks so much. Cheers. 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 See you in a bit. If you're new to the channel, just a little quick ad break before getting to the game. Um, I'd really appreciate if you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, obviously, like weekly content or potentially two a week if there's two games on. And obviously, home and away vlog every time. So yeah, if you're enjoying the videos, click that like button, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. Enjoy the rest of the video. See you there, guys. Charlie Kirk and 
I can see what they're doing, what he's doing. I can see it, I feel it. I can, I can, he's cooking. Charlie, how you doing, man? Michael, what do you reckon? Uh, tough watch, first yeah. half an hour. Um, picked it up, 15 minutes to go. 1-1, one, one, good, but still. Jaden Stockley. Yeah. Jaden yeah. Stockley. You knew it, didn't you? You knew it. He had the um, free kick, hit the bar, nearly went in, I thought, here we go, and then obviously gets the header like he does, but typical, isn't it? Stockley versus May. Have you made the right choice letting Stockley go and letting May in? Or not. Let's see what the second half is going to sell. But yeah, um, a lot of change. A lot of change. Change of uh, players. Quite a few good ones went. Albi's gone. Um, who I thought was quite good in the midfield and uh, creative. And I think we're lacking at the moment. Anderson. Uh, he's got the talent. I don't think he's ready yet. So let's see how the next few games go. Um, yeah, quite a good, good number of players out, new number of players in, they're trying to blend it together. Um, the manager's now gone. Nervous, a little bit nervous, I'd say. And what do you make of Fleetwood as a team? I don't think they play well at all. I think that they um, play kind of second from the bottom for a reason, obviously Stockley. If it wasn't for him, uh, not much, um, not much there, but um, 
but we should be walking all over them. Yeah, I've noticed their right wing is quite good, the guy who assisted Scott Stockley, I think he's had a good game, but ultimately, I think you can see we've got more quality on the pitch, but we don't seem to have a game plan, do we? That's the thing. I think, yeah, that's, that's exactly right, there's no game plan. The quality of players, I think we way ahead of them. Game plan. I don't think any of the teams have any game plan. Um, I think the second half is going to be quite interesting and um, let's wait and see. But um, yeah, we should win this game. We shouldn't even we shouldn't even be here thinking, oh, can we score, can we not? Like that, like we should be absolutely beating them. But um, yeah, too many changes, too quick, too many players out, yeah. too many players in. Massive change of personnel. The managers out. The club owners changed. Uh, I just think we need now some stability, we need time, we need to relax and is this the season to go up to championship? I don't think so. That would be a very good odds yeah. if you were to yeah, very, very <laughs> if you were to bet to say so. that that is the season. Uh, doesn't seem this way but uh, let's wait and see. Let's be positive. I mean, yeah. um, the last 15 minutes encouraging. So yeah. let's wait and see. And Michael, just for the final thing, score predictions, sec right second half, what do you reckon? I think it's May versus Stockley. Who can score more? Charlton. <laughs> yep. Come on, 2 1. Fair enough. Gotta be. Mike, Michael, you're a gent. Appreciate it. Nice Thanks one, mate. Introduce yourself, chap. I'm Chris from Chris. Medway Towns. Chris, following yeah. Charlton since 1970. Yep. First game, Aston Villa versus Charlton here. Charlton won 1 0. I stood on a Orange crate, my granddad took me, yeah. and I've been going ever since. Love it, <laughs> love the little story. Uh, what do you reckon this game today so far? Um, we're playing tippy tappy football with a better team, as always, but the teams we're playing are stronger and more physical than what we are. Yeah. Um, we're missing a big centre forward yeah, to, 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 um, to help May out, and um, I think Fleetwood are there for the taking if we can get the tactics right and the shape right yeah. and um, I just think the, the coaching is a little bit off at the minute I think we could, we've could got a team that could be better than what we are Yeah, no, I'd agree with that I've uh, definitely needed a proper manager, didn't we? to sort, of, like, sort these players out there's a lot of my up to it by looks for us today They need coaching, you can see that a mile off Yeah. I love, I love Pierce to bits I don't think he's anywhere near coaching <coughs> I'm seeing things on the sidelines. Last week against Oxford, I thought was poor. I mean, we, we played poor. We've got an equaliser. Mm. And who allows the whole team to go bombing forward like a Sunday Park team? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And they break away and score. That's sideline coaching. Yeah. So, Especially we needed a result as well to sort of stop the bleed, exactly didn't we? That, yeah. the loss in a row. It's back, it's, it's back to coaching again. Yeah, um, back to basics. I think it's basics and I, yeah. and I think someone needs to grab hold of the, the team and the players and the shape because I think we've got the potential to be to, to shoot ourselves up the table. Hopefully. Um, well, I can hear a kick-off now, so I'll keep it too long. Yeah. Uh, what do you reckon, second half prediction? Oh Christ, we're going to go on to win this. We oh, are definitely going to go on to win this. I think um, they'll bring Lee Burn on, physical presence, which we need up front to um, ally May, to give May an opportunity for the knockdowns. Corey Blackett Taylor's working wonders, he's got their left, their right back in his pocket. Um, I think uh, our right winger has got their left their left back in their pocket, yeah. his pocket. Campbell's doing well. Yeah, yeah. He's, Campbell's doing a great, great job. And um, we're definitely the better team, but I've said that most weeks. Yeah, I'd agree with that, I've done the same. Thank you for your time, mate, really appreciate it. No worries.
takes him over, penalty all day. Great take of penalty about Alfie May, four for the season. You can probably say it's well deserved to be fair. Second half look a little bit better. So I'm really hoping this will finally be it. First win since obviously late in Orient. First comeback in about what, 40 games? Of course my camera cut to fit the theme of the season so far. Ran out of batteries. But yeah, no, ultimately, good goal. Better team, second half. We'll see how they kick on from here, but it's looking promising. I'm really happy for Alfie May. You know, four for the season. Come on, Chol. Match analysis, no nonsense. Not much in that game. I think we worked harder. We had more chances in the second half, and that's that. Alfie May up and running, well and truly. Four goals in six games, fantastic. CVT, great game. Uh, my personal man in the match. Um, just had their fallback on toast. Like it's one of the games where again the fullbacks be thinking to himself, is this the right career move for me? Just absolutely dusted him time and time again. Pivotal in the penalty, obviously. Um, I think Anderson stepped up, all things considered, uh, second half in particular. He's obviously a young lad, he's learning, a uh, good second half from him. Uh, Dobber worked hard, but Dobber looked quite tired to be fair, but you know, got through it. Subs came on, they're all right, you know. We know about Charlie Kirk, we spoke about him enough, but he, he done all right. Same as Terry Taylor, defenders put a shift in. Um, a lot more 
commitment this time, a lot more passion. I think they wanted a bit more. I know it's well easy to say that because we got the result, but it just felt like at that time, you could, the, like the tyres changed slightly second half, but Jesus Christ, I was absolutely shit in my pants that second half towards the end. We were desperate for a win, and then when you see 12 minutes pop up, you think, oh, blimey, you know, it could be anyone's game at that point. But um, yeah, luckily we dug deep. On a final note, what I will say is um, we should have got probably like two more goals, but Sid's and crossed the box, and we just didn't take them, unfortunately. If we took them, game's dead and buried, but um, it just weren't meant to be. But yeah, absolutely buzzing, buzzing. I hope we just bounce off this, get a new manager. Uh, I might talk more later about the transfer window, but if not, that's been that, that's been Fleetwood. Because of the Wigan cancellation, I will be at Crawley Town, I will do a video. I'll see you then, chaps. Whatever you're doing tonight, enjoy doing it, stay safe, take care. See you in the next one.